Hi guys, welcome back to Explanator. This video is about the parameters involved when you connect a pure capacitor across an AC supply. The equations for current and power, phasor diagram representation and graph for power consumed in a purely capacitive circuit is what we are going to cover in today's video. The procedure is same like how it was done previously for a resistive and an inductive element. We derive the current equation followed by the power equation and then go to plot the graphs. If you have missed out on the previous videos of this series, I have mentioned the links in the description box. For now, to begin with, we will consider a pure capacitor and an AC supply. The alternating voltage is denoted by the equation V equals Vm sin of omega t. Let the current flowing in the circuit be of magnitude i. The capacitor alternately charges and discharges at a rate determined by the frequency of the supply. Our first task is to find an equation for the current which results due to movement of charges when the capacitor undergoes charging and discharging. Now the current is defined as flow of charges. With respect to a capacitor, we define charge Q as a product of capacitance and applied voltage. So in the form of an expression, it can be written as Q equals C into Vm sin of omega t. I can be written as dq by dt as per the definition. So substituting and differentiating, you get i equals to omega c vm cos of omega t. To maintain uniformity in the equations, convert this in terms of sine equation. So when you do that, equation for current i is given by omega c vm sine of omega t plus pi by 2. When sine reaches its maximum value, current I will also reach its maximum value. So omega C into Vm can be denoted as Im. The equation for current can now be simplified to I equals Im sine of omega t plus pi by 2. To represent this on a phasor diagram, take voltage as a reference line and since current leads the voltage by 90 degrees as per the expression, you draw the current phasor at an angle of plus 90 degrees. That is, it points in the positive y direction. Going back to the equation of Im, if you rearrange the terms to get the ratio Vm by Im, it will equate to 1 upon omega c. And it remains the same even when the ratio Vrms by IRMS is considered. Comparing it with the equation for Ohm's law, you see that R in this case equals to 1 upon omega c, which means this is the opposition which is offered to the flow of AC current. And we name this term 1 upon omega c as capacitive reactance. Now that we have the equations for voltage and current, let us calculate the power dissipated in the circuit. The power consumed in a circuit is of two types, instantaneous power and average power. Instantaneous power is what is consumed at the moment, while average power is the power consumed over the entire cycle. For instantaneous power, P equals voltage into current. Substituting the values and simplifying, we get P equal to Vm Im sin of 2 omega t upon 2. For average power, find the average value of this equation. So integrating it over the cycle from 0 to 2 pi and dividing it by the total time interval, you will get the final answer to be 0. That is because an ideal capacitor does not consume power. Energy is taken for one half cycle when the voltage or current increases and given back in the next half cycle when the values decrease. Next, to plot the waveform, 
consider a xy plane with omega t the angular frequency on the x axis draw a table to plot the voltage and current waves mark the values of omega t on x axis voltage and current on y axis tabulate the different values of voltage and current at different intervals of omega t and draw the corresponding plots next to plot the power plot on the same plane calculate the different values of the power for different values of omega t you will observe that for the values under consideration the answer turns out to be zero so these points are not sufficient to draw the plot and we need to consider more intermediate points so considering further points and drawing the waveform you observe that the plot has a symmetric pattern about x axis the instantaneous power can be calculated at any point on the graph however the average value of this wave will be zero because if you notice the positive areas are cancelling out the negative areas giving a net area of zero for a better understanding you see that the power curve is a multiplication of voltage and current plot so depending upon the polarity and magnitude of both the waves the resultant waveform will have a sinusoidal pattern symmetric about the x axis so plus v plus i will give plus p plus v and minus i will give minus p minus v and minus i will give plus p minus v plus i will give minus p and you can see that the sinusoidal pattern is symmetric about the x axis do let me know if you have any suggestions in the comment section below like share and subscribe to never miss an update from explanator where every solution has a simple explanation